The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now, with that in mind, the woman not wearing which pertain to a man. You you have two signs on the bathroom. What is the woman wearing? That the address. Oh, okay, a dress. So now, what is the man wearing? Uh, maybe a t-shirt and pants. T-shirt and pants. Okay, that's how you identify without a word which bathroom to go into. That's right. Okay, so now let's see if you understand the scripture. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now, if I put two of those signs up and I put pants on both of those signs, which bathroom would you go into? The one that got the uh, woman. No, 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 listen. I said, I said if I put two signs up and both signs had on pants, which one would you go into? Only the visual, this moment is pivotal Clear like a digital, phonies can't copy originals We the first on the earth in the physical You still in our image is criminal All your hatred is known and it's visible We breaking the mold on traditional You Negroes are mythical, more like a biblical miracle Bringing the fire, the smiths of the trade Crafting the image they try to evade We spray from the bottom, the roots of the brave Fruits of the tree, we ain't throwing no shade Our brothers are dying, ain't no use in lying The damage is seen on the news coverage The reason we sleep and ignoring the horror Cause we don't see God when we see each other Righteous are gathering, learning the truth And they pissed off and won't let it go No time for the flattering, empty words We just plant the seed and we let it grow Man, I light them up like it's Petro You ain't got insurance or a gecko I don't think they hear me, there's an echo They ain't Israel Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Is there anybody in the Bible that looks like y'all? Anybody in the Bible that looks like y'all? You say no? So everything that you see on TV, when you think about... Uh, when you think about Christ, when you think about his people, they don't look like you, do they? Right? I wonder why that is. Why, why, why is it that when you see Jesus, you don't see yourself? Right? You all say that you, you, you know that Christ is black, but how can you prove that? And what does that mean? If Christ is a black man, what does that mean? What, what, what does his father look like? Who is, who is Christ's father? Bring it out! Who is the, you don't know? Y'all don't know who, who Christ's father is? His father would be God. That's right. right? So, so then if Christ is the son of God and he looks like you, come a little bit close. I'm going to let y'all go in five minutes. I'm going to let y'all go so you can deal with your mom. I just want you to see this one point. All right? Before you leave here today, you have to have this image in your head of who you really are. Okay? Because nobody's going to tell you that you're special. Okay? If I if I offered you right now, I want you to listen real good. Look me in my look me in my eyes. If I offered you right now um, a magic potion that will have you live forever, would you want it? Would you want to live forever? Uh -uh. You said no, nah, not in this current condition, right? But what if I told you that life that I, that you would be getting, you'd be ruling, you'd be the head over everything. Would you want to Would you want to live then? You wouldn't want to live forever. You sure? I would want to you, live forever, but not you, like that. But not like what? Like you wouldn't want to be a king? You wouldn't want to be a king over the world, over all the all the provinces in the planet? You wouldn't? Why wouldn't you? You wanna you wanna go to work and pay bills all your all your life? Give me some rock nineteen nineteen. Listen to this right here. I wanna show y'all something. Alright? Real quick, so rock nineteen nineteen. Watch this. The book of Sirach, chapter 19 and verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments. Right, okay, so the Bible says the knowledge of the commandments. Do you all have knowledge of the commandments? Do you know what sin is? What sin? You said what sin? What is sin? Something that God does not want you to do. Okay, that, that's, a, that's a good answer. Something that God doesn't want you to do. Now, be more specific. What is something, name one thing that God doesn't want you to do that, that you see done in the Christian church? Don't leave that. I don't know. Okay. Uh, what, about, what, about, what about Christmas? Do they do that in the church? What about Easter? 
and keep Easter. Yeah. Just to keep Easter. Yeah. Uh, uh, New Year's. Pay attention. Pay attention. Yeah. I'm going to show you something. They keep all of those things, and they say Christ was born when? When? When did they say Christ was born? You you supposed to celebrate his birthday on that day. Oh, Christmas. They say that Christmas is Christ's birthday. Yeah. What if I told you they've been lying to you the whole time? Uh -oh. What if I told you that place right there, when they tell you that Christ was born on December 25th, that's a lie? What if I told you that when they tell you it's okay to keep uh, Easter and New Year's, that's a lie? The Bible talks against that. Right. What if I told you that those images of Christ are not supposed to be white? They're supposed to look like you. Right, right. You understand what I'm saying? So read that again, Sirach 19. Watch this. The book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. This right here is what's going to make you live. Listen, listen. What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? A mechanic. A mechanic. Okay, what about you? Me. Yeah. A nurse. A nurse. Okay, what about you? I really play basketball, so I'm going to be in the NBA or something. You want to you wanna do all those things. Okay, all right. Now, what I'm giving you right now is more valuable than that. You understand that? The knowledge of the commandments. All right, now give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let me tell y'all one thing, because I think y'all... Uh, your attention span is real, real short. But I want you to understand who you are real quick. Watch this. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people. Hold on. Hold on. The Bible says that you, come here, read this sign right here. Come check this sign out. Hey, listen, look, look, this, this ain't no game right here. It's a lot of smiling and stuff going on. This is a real serious moment, all right? Right. Come, come check this sign out, bro. Come check this sign out. You, you see the sign? Since I ain't see you standing, I'm sorry. Come look at this sign real quick. Where do you see yourself at on this sign? Hey, right, well, look, we're not going to bite. Come on around here. We're not going to bite. Look right here. You see this right here? Are you? Would you call yourself an American black? That, that's what your father would be? American black? What about you? American black? All right. You see this name right here? That says Judah. That's right. Have y'all ever heard that before? You have? You know what that means? All right. Um, give me, um, was it Genesis? Was it Genesis 29 when it says, uh, when it names Judah, it tells you what his name means? Read. The book of G Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 8. Judah, thou art he whom the brethren shall praise. So it says that the so-called American blacks, their real name is Judah. That's right. All right, and it says that that name means what? Thy brethren shall praise. Read it from the top. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. You know why it says that thou art he who thy brother shall praise? It's because we were going to be here in America and we were going to strangle America for all of all of their their uh, assets because they brought us here in slavery. That's so right. we've been marching for civil rights, That's right. right? We've been marching for equality That's over the right. years. We've been standing up, uh, just marching, trying to get ourselves together, asking the powers to, to uh, give us give us us free. That's but that's not what's happening, that's all right? Go to, um, if you finish that. That's what you going into. Yeah, read it again. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 8. Judah, thou art... Who he whom thy brethren shall praise. Come on. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. So when the Bible says that our hand shall be in the neck of our enemies, it's telling us where, our, where we will be uh, geographically on the planet. It says, Judah, thy hand shall be in the neck of your enemy. Who, who was our enemy today? Do you know? You have no idea. Satan. You say who? Satan. Satan? Okay. Uh, that's what most people think. But what if I told you that we ourselves are, are a Satan? When we, whoever we serve, that's who we are. Now, uh, give me Psalms 83 and verse 1. Watch this. I'm going to show you who your enemies are, that's right. according to the Bible. This, these are the things that they don't teach you in the churches. 
all right? But it's valuable information because if you knew that there was someone was your enemy, would you deal with them? Right. You would, you would probably be clever about how you dealt with them if you, if you had to deal with them, correct? Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 83, and verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. So that's what we pray for every day, every night. You know, we, we can't get any ease here. We um one paycheck away from being out on the street. One uh, paycheck from getting our lights cut off. Right. Uh, one occurrence from getting fired. That's right. So we always praying like, Lord, don't keep your silence. Help us out, Lord. You know, I'm, I'm trying to do right, but how do I do right? Read on. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. All right, now we're going to read that again real slow. Watch this. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. So these that we're about to name off, these are the enemies of God. Did you know that God had enemies? You didn't know that, did you? Because they never taught you this. The Bible is telling you that God has enemies. But do you think that these enemies can do anything to God? No. So if they can't get to God, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to get to the next best thing. Something that he loves, right? Right. Right. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So it says these people that hate God have lifted up their heads, meaning they're proud and they're running things today. That's right. They run the world today. That's right. Read. They have taken crafty counsel. These people that are enemies of God have taken crafty counsel, That's right. meaning the things that they're doing are not going to be right there in front of your face. You're not going to just say, hey, I know that's a trick. You can't set a net in front of a bird and expect that bird to get caught inside of that net. Right. Right. So when it says crafty council, I'm going to tell you what the crafty council is. The crafty council is section eight. Right. The crafty council is EBT. Right. The crafty council is WIC. Why do you think I'm saying that? Why you what? What if if your enemy, you got to understand this. If your enemy says, hey, I'm going to give you a place to live. What are the restrictions that come along with that place? You don't know? You, you don't have any friends that ever lived in the projects? What What is something that they have to do on a regular basis when they get an inspection? When they have an inspection, they, they say something in the house. Make something got to happen. Make it plain. Yeah, they got to clean it. You, okay, you got to clean up. But if there is somebody in that house is not on the lease. They can't be there. They can't be there. Yeah, Typically, who is that person? They can't be there. The person that's not on my list. So which, would, what, which would be who? Typically, it's a man, right? That's right. They, they say, hey, look, look, we got inspection this month. You got to go. Yes, yes. Uh, you got to get all your stuff. You got to go. That's right. Right? That's crafty counsel. That's keeping your family separated. You understand that? But our women, our women, the so-called black woman, the Hispanic woman, and Native American woman, they would rather have it that way than to have a man over them to help them in the family because the woman was created for the man, not the man for the woman. Did right. you know that? That's the order. But because of the crafty council, we can never get our nation together. As a, as a people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're separated. Right. Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. You see that? That crafty council, that section eight, that EBT, all of those different things that the other nations that don't care about us, those are the same people that brought us here in slavery. Right. Now they're going to give you a place to live. Right. Right? That's psychology on you to make you think that they're your friends. Right. They're not your friends. They're your enemies. Right. right? So they give you one thing in return. Hey, you can't have no man. I'm your man. I'm your man. I'm going to tell you what go on in this house. And guess what you say? Yes, a master. Yes, a master. Can I take my baby to, to, to the doctor? He needs some shot, master. I don't need you. I don't need you, Ricky. You get out. I'm going to call the cops on you. That's, that's right. the, the father of your children. You're not going to deal with him right because you got somebody else that's going to take care of you, so you think. Right. But the Bible says that that's crafty counsel. Right. It is. Why do they do that? Read that again. They have said, come and let us cut them off. 
from being a nation. So the way they cut us off from being a nation is starting in the house. They start in the family. Disrupt the family unit. They'll never be a nation again. They can never come in back. They can never come back to being the special people of God. That's right. That's what we lose. That's what we lose when I, when the woman will not submit to the man that she was created for. That's what we lose. We lose all of this. We lose rulership. That's why we're on the bottom now. That's why we in every ghetto. The ghetto was made for us. You That's understand right. that? This is where they push us off. What's the scripture going to tell us? Read. That the name of Israel. That the name of what? That the name of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites. That's right. But you don't know that because of this crafty counsel that these nations have taken against us since 1492 and 1619. You understand? 1492, you so-called, your brothers, the, the, the northern kingdom, or the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans, they were enslaved That's before right. we were. That's right. But they don't tell you that. You don't put those two things together. They've been enslaved far longer than we have. 1619 is when we came here That's from right. our homeland, and it was not Africa. Right. We're not Africans. We're different people. That's right. You understand? Right. Read what you got. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Right. For they have consulted together. So it says, for they have consulted together. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to let you know a little secret. All the other nations, when you look around in your neighborhood, you will see an Arab store. Right. You will see a Chinese restaurant. Right. You will see uh, the East Indian selling hair. Come on. It says, they are what? For they have consulted together with one consent. So all of these other nations have consulted together with one consent. What is that one consent? They are confederate against thee. They are confederate against us. That's right. That's right. They are confederate against the so-called American blacks, right. the so-called West Indians, which are the Jamaicans, right. the so-called Levi, the tribe of Levi, which are the Haitians. That's right. These are your people. You see them come through time and time again. They come right here in your neighborhood. They dog like you. They look just like you. They your brothers. You understand? But we don't know that. We've been separated for so long. Read what you got. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we're going too fast. We're starting to name the enemies of God. All right? And these people are the same people because they can't touch God. Guess who they're going to touch? His children. You understand that? they confederate against his children. But they're not going to get away with it. You understand? They've been getting away with it. They have not paid for their crimes yet. But they're going to pay for them. Read on. The tabernacles of Edom. Edom. The first one on the list. Do you know who Edom is? Where is the chart? Do we got it? Yeah. Flip, flip this around right here. Flip this one around. Let me show you something. Let me show you who Edom is. All right? Give me, um, we're going to make it quick. Genesis 25 and verse 25. Watch this. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 25. And the first came out red. Start up a little higher. You got to read up like 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord. Call it and read it. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. So this is Isaac and Rebekah. Rebecca could not get pregnant, so Isaac went to the Lord and prayed for his wife to get pregnant. Read. And the Lord was entreated of him. So the Lord hearkened to him because he was a just man. He kept, he kept the commandments. Right. Read. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. So because Isaac prayed and the Lord hearkened to him, his wife got pregnant. Read. And the children struggled together within her. So you hear what just happened? She got pregnant. And what did the scripture just say? It said, what happened? Read it again. And the children. The what? Children. children. So what does that mean? She got pregnant. She pre More specifically, she got pregnant with what? Read it again. And the children. How many? More than one. 
celebrate, and the children struggle together within her. All right, so now, mind you, there's no such thing as an ultrasound. But this is the Lord letting her know. It says the children struggle together in her womb. Read. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? So she's asking the Lord, Lord, if this is a blessing from you, why am I feeling this way inside of my womb? What's going on? I feel like I'm about to croak. I'm, about to, I'm hurting right here because of this. Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. Come on. And the Lord said unto her, two nations. Oh, listen, real good. So it says the children struggle together in her womb. Now we're saying two nations. Right? And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. So now two nations are in her womb. Can you give birth to two nations of people? No. 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 So the scripture is telling you something deeper. It's telling you that out of these two sons, go down some, look at this right here. Out of these two sons, we're going to come two nations of people. Come on. That's right. Watch this. Read. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bones. You heard that? Two manner of people were going to be separated. These are brothers. They're twin, but they're fraternal. They're different. I, well, I'm giving it away. Because it says, it's like they got different daddies. What it, different daddies. they have different spirits, they got the same father, but they have different spirits. Right. Read it again. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated. You, that word was separated from where? From thy bones, from the womb. These two brothers were going to be separate, they're going to be different. They're going to look different. Their mannerisms are going to be different. As a matter of fact, from them going to come a nation of people, two different nation of people. That's right. Let's see if we know who they are today. And let's see if we can answer the age-old question. Why do they hate us so much? Why do white people hate black people so much? Is it something that we did or was it something that happened from birth? That's what we're reading. I'm giving you the answer to white people. That's right. right. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. So now, one people going to be stronger than the other people. Read. Right? And the elder shall serve the younger. Then it says that the oldest brother is going to serve the younger brother. Come on. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Again, there was no such thing as an ultrasound. Right? So the prophecy came true. They said the two, two men of people would be separated. And read it again. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled. So when it was time for her to give birth. Behold, there were twins in her womb. So she didn't know that, but now there's twins coming out. That's why she was having turmoil. Read. Right. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Okay, now, it says the first son came out red all over like a hairy garment. That's right. All right. In the summertime, I'm just going to make it plain. When white people sit in the sun all day, uh, what color do they turn? Yeah. Red. Yeah, and are right. they not hairy all over? Yeah. They hairy all over. That's if you right. keep a razor from them, they will turn into a wolf. Right. They will be completely covered. They're women too. That's right. Completely covered with hair. That's so right. this is the prophecy. Read it again. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Like sis over there, when her days are be, to be fulfilled, she's going to find out what, she, what she's having. Right? But read. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Come on. And they called his name Esau. So this so-called white man, his name, he's not a white man. He's red. He's different shades of red. Not white. This is white. This is black. We're neither. You understand? That color is white. I've never seen a person this color, and I've never seen a person that color. All right? So when the Bible says 
Esau, go back to 83, Psalms 83, and we're going to shut it down in a second. When it says Esau, another name for Esau is Edom. Let's find out again. Remember, we're talking about the enemies of God. Let's find out who's the first on the hit list of God when he come back. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 6. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites. The tabernacles of Edom. That, those are the people that have taken crafty counsel against you. Those are the people that give you the section eight. That's right. Those are the people that run this place. That's right. Read the next one. Watch this. And the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites are the so-called Arab. Right. You see them four or five stores in your block. They got crafty counsel against you. That's right. They, they don't sell you no good products in that store. Everything in the store is outdated. Everything outdated. But you know what's not outdated? Them black and mild. Them, them bottles of liquor. Oh, that stuff is fresh. That's right. That's how you know they're against you. That's right. You ain't gonna find a book in that store to teach you nothing. That's right. Right, but you'll get them, what, what is it, them, them four packs. Them four packs of uh, Duchess. You'll get them. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna keep them fresh. That cooler gonna be, they're gonna have your beer nice and cold on Sunday. That's right. Read. Of Moab. You know who Moab is? That's the Chinese. Right. Ain't, are they not in your community sucking up your resources? That's right. This has been in our Bible the whole time telling us to correct ourselves, but them churches over there, all they want to do is take your money. They confederate against you too. That's right. That's all these right. people are confederate against you, right? So now let's just get, read one more, read some more. And the Hagarins. Right, Hagarins come from Hagar. All right, so now give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I want to show you something before you go. Yeah. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 and then Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Make it plain. And we're going to get ready to shut it down. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Yeah. For thou art in holy people. So that's what you wrote up on. We wrote up on this scripture. The Bible says that you are holy people. You know, when you see movies and it's, they talk about things that's holy, when you touch them, you're supposed to be holy. Right? That's right. So just by me looking at you and touching you, I'm supposed to be like, wow, I, I got a chance to see somebody that, that's, that's God's family. You understand? But we don't know that because we've been down trying to so much. That's if right. we knew that we were God's jewels, we would do better. That's right. You are the apple of God's eye. Teach, uh. But guess what? If you disobey him, he going to spank your behind into a pole. That's right. He's not playing with you. Right? So if you ever wonder why you're going through this thing, you wake up, why I got to keep going through this? Because you're not listening and you're not paying attention to your father. That's and right. he's going to discipline you. Understand that? But what did he say about you? Read. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. He chose you, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He chose us out of all people that he created. Read. To be a special people. Now, what would make us special? Watch this. Read the last part. Unto himself. What would make us special to God? Read on. Read on. Above all people. You see that? He said, I know all of these people that I created, but these people... These people are special. That's right. What makes us special? Give me that in Psalms 140, 147, and uh, 149. Is that what I want? Mm -hmm. All right, watch this. I'm going to let you go, sis. Right now. This is what makes us special. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. So, Jacob is our forefather. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. He is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel, meaning Jacob is the father of our grandfather, Judah. All right? That's right. That's who we come from. That's why we have this phenotype. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So he showed us this Bible. Read. He have not dealt so with any nation. So, when you see the white man up there on the TV, you see the Chinese man talking about they know God, they do not know God because he did not give them what makes us special. That's right. These laws. That's right. All right, last scripture, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now... Israel. So now I'm calling you Israel. I didn't get your name. What's your name? Vicky. Vicky. All right. So Vicky, I'm telling you today that you're an Israelite. You're special to God. That's right. And there's That's some right. things that you got to do. Right. And we're going to show you right now because you don't know what tomorrow holds for you. That's right. 
We came out here, we didn't we don't know who's gonna walk up here, but guess what? We came out here for you. The angels rejoice for one person that repent. That's right. You might not see them, but they're here. They're marking this down in the book. She knows that she's an Israelite. That's right. All right? The Lord got his eye on you. Breathe. And now, Israel. So I'm calling you Israel because that's your last name. Not Smith, not Powell, not uh, whatever, Johnson. That's not your last name. That name belongs to your slave master. Right. Your last name is Israel. What? That means as a prince has thou power with God. That's right. You have power with God if you call yourself by that name. Read. Right. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? And that's all we want you to understand what God requires of you. Read. Right. But to fear the Lord thy God. So you got to fear him. Just like if you was to walk out in the street and a car was coming. Fear will jump all over you because you know that something immediate is going to happen to you. That's the same way that you got to fear God when you break his commandment. You got to know that something immediate may happen to you. If it doesn't, you lucky because he's giving you grace. That's right. Giving you time to repent. That's that's Christ saying, Lord, don't do it today. Don't do it today. She's going to get it right. Read. To walk. In all his ways. That's what we're going to teach. To walk in his ways. If you continue to be here, we'll be out here on Saturdays and Thursdays. We're going to be right here on Saturdays and Thursdays that's teaching right. his Bible. And got it, baptized Saturday. You got baptized? I'm about to get baptized Saturday. Hey, hey, can I give you some scripts on that? You about to change it up? Yeah, you, got, you about to change it up? Because <laughs> right now, what if I told you right now you're being baptized? That's right. That's right. You ain't know that, did you? That's the right. church, the church don't teach you right. Ephesians 5. Mm -hmm. Bring it out. 26. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, it's another one. Um, 222. First, uh, Jeremiah 2 and 22. I think I want that one first. Watch this. Jeremiah 222. Watch this. You say you're going to get back to it. See, that's what the Lord brought you out here. He wanted you to be, uh, he wants you to have a clear understanding of what you're doing. Watch this right here. Got it? Yes, sir. Come on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 22. For though thou wash thee with me tree. Come on. And take thee much soap. Right. So what do you think about when you take soap? What do, You take soap to do what? Take a shower. Take a shower. Now, the scripture is saying, read it again and, and come, break it down just a little bit. Watch yes, this. Sir. For though thou wash thee with nitri. Nitri is a form of, it's a cleaning, uh, it's like a powder to clean yourself with. Come on. And take thee much soap. And take thee much soap. When you take soap, what are you cleaning off? Dirt off of your skin. Water and soap gets the dirt off of your skin. Red. Right? Yet, thine iniquity. What is iniquity? Watch this. Yet, thine iniquity is marked before me. So, what this is saying is that you can wash the dirt off your skin, but you cannot get the sin off of you by water. That's right. All right, we're going to read it again. Give me that in Ephesians 5. Watch this. Water don't clean your soul. Read. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water. So... Christ is going to sanctify and cleanse you by the washing of the water. Watch this. By the word. By the what? By the word. And not by physical water. Your spirit is clean by these words. That's by right. keeping the commandments. Now, I'm, I'm going to test you real quick. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Ooh. Let's see if you want to be baptized or not. You want to be baptized? You think you're ready? You think you're ready to serve Christ? Because the, the scripture says, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for temptation. All right, now this is going to be one of your temptations because everybody around you, they are confederate to do this thing. Right. If you want to serve the Lord, you have to be contrary to the world. That's right. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman. The woman. We're talking about you. This is instruction from God. Shall not. You ready for it? Shall not. Now, don't deviate. Don't let the American black woman come out of you. You said you want to repent. Don't let her come out. Don't let Eve come out. Watch this. Read it from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What is that talking about? It says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Okay, we're going to make it easy. Keep reading. Neither shall a man 
put on a woman's garment. So now, what's a woman's garment that a man shouldn't put on? That's right. A bonnet. A bonnet. You heard that? He said we the real Jews. You said a bonnet. Mm -hmm. I, I like that because I do see men walking around here with them bonnets. They shouldn't do that either. But let's be more specific. When you go to a restroom, how do you identify which restroom to go in? It's easy. It got women and the men. It got women and the men. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it doesn't have the words, what does it normally have? Mm -hmm. The people. The, the people. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, how do you know the man's bathroom? Easy, because it got the man on this side. But, but how do you know a man? How do you know this is a man? I don't know. You do know. Not best she man. Uh, you could be, but read it. Watch this. We're going to help you. Keep that sign in your mouth. Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now, with that in mind, the woman not wearing which pertains to a man, you, you have two signs on the bathroom. What is the woman wearing? That the, a dress. Oh, okay. A dress. So now, what is the man wearing? Uh, maybe a t-shirt and pants and shorts. T-shirt and pants. Okay, that's how you identify without a words which bathroom to go into. That's right. Okay, so now let's see if you understand the scripture. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now, if I put two of those signs up and I put pants on both of those signs, which bathroom would you go into? The one that got the uh, woman. No, 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 no. Listen, I said, I said if I put two signs up and both signs had on pants, which one would you go into? Neither. Neither. Right. So my question, the Bible is asking you, why are you wearing pants? Right. Those are not for women. That's right. Those are for men. That's right. So if you want to be baptized, put on a dress. That's right. You, 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 there are certain things that happen to women when they wear pants. That's I'm going right. to just keep it 100. That's right. Yeast infections. Bring it out. All type of vaginosis. Bring That's right. Because you're not designed to have that area closed off. Bring it out. It's designed to breathe. That's, That's right. what the dress is for. So you having um, all of these uh, um, extra hard menstrual cramps and all these things, it it's coming because you're disobedience to God. That's, That's right. You understand? So if you want to repent, since you got to come up out of them jeans and, and be a princess. Have you ever seen a princess get married in a pair of jeans? Bring it out. No. She always has on a dress. That's, That's right. right. So why don't you why don't you walk around like a princess every day so you can find your king? That's right. You understand? Come on, you. We need y'all to subscribe to help us push. We got a lot of work to do in North Carolina. The Carolinas need this work. Right. You know what I'm saying? North Carolina need this work. So we need y'all to go and subscribe right now. Grab your finger. This one right here in particular. Right. Swipe the YouTube that you're probably already watching. Click the YouTube app. Right. Go to IUIC Riley page. Right up under there, it says subscribe. Click that button one time. Click that check. Subscribe to IUIC Riley. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. 